Okay, thanks a lot. So continuous delivery is not always that easy. Uh, but fortunately, more and more companies, they have experience with continuous delivery that they can share with us. We were four researchers doing re uh, interviews with a handful of Danish companies at various stages of their continuous delivery. We ended up with more questions than answers, but we got an idea of what are the prerequisites for doing continuous delivery. This is how my students and some companies, they think continuous delivery is. Trust me, there's no magic just. But with some hard work, we can probably make it work. Now, in different areas, they actually do continuous delivery. So a task arrives at the pit. The mechanics make sure that it gets four new tires, 90 liters of petrol, a new nose cone. 10 seconds after, it's delivered, and they're ready for a new task. One of the important things about continuous delivery is automation. It started with Stuart Feldman. He was sick and tired of manually typing commands, so he created Make. And one of the good selling points about automation is that it makes it so easy to follow the process. Now, it works on my machine. Many people know that. If it works on my machine, it should work everywhere, also in production. So the best way we can ensure that is to give the developers a production-like condition. Stop and go in Formula One is a penalty. In continuous delivery, it's also a penalty. Code reviews are interruptive. Waiting for a person to do a change is interruptive. And waiting for test to finish is interruptive, so maybe we shouldn't do it. Some of the problems are older than continuous delivery. Wayne Babbitt, 30 years ago, discovered some problems. The double maintenance problem is the worst. So we have to manage and control that. An ounce of, different, uh, of diff is worth a pound of analysis. So if we know it works here, it didn't work there, if we can tell the difference and it's not too big, then we are almost done with debugging and finding the error. Now, sometimes people, they want to share bad quality. We would like to protect the repository with an automated quality gate. Sometimes people don't know when they're done they can ask the automated quality gate. If it passes and goes into production, then they're done. Now, small tasks is another very important thing. It's difficult to obtain. We can do some things to mitigate it, but the best thing is to try to break down things into very small pieces. Test is done is in, test and QA is done in a different way when we're doing continuous delivery. So we have to adapt to that. So Turn your developers into cross-functional, use staging, use DevOps duty. This is the reaction of Kevin Magnussen when uh, the mechanics of the Haas team managed to turn a dream scenario of a fourth and fifth place finishing into two cars that didn't finish by not managing to secure the wheels. Now, this is probably the most admirable team boss in Formula One. When all the journalists wanted to know the names of the guilty mechanics, he shielded his team and said, we win as a team and we lose as a team. And now we want to analyze what went wrong, why it went wrong, and what we can do so it won't go wrong the next time. And this is Groschen, the other driver, doing the team retrospective. Now, some companies have already arrived in paradise and doing a retrospective on the code is called a refactoring. They spend a lot of time refactoring the code to keep it in good condition, also refactoring the test, and as they own also the tools and the processes, they refactored that. One admirable boss saw that having QA on the team sort of tempted the developers to throw the code over the fence, so he just told QA to go away and make the team responsible for it. In good companies, they move business closer to development and not the other way around. They abolish the sprints. They don't do estimations. And if you want to so get over the bumps, you should automate. You should bring down the task to sort of one day task, remove all the obstacles to the flow, continuously improve doing retrospective, under Stuart Feldman, because he told us that we should automate everything that we do more than twice. Wayne Babbitt told us to fight the double maintenance monster and have small tasks. And uh, we should realize that 
human nature is so easy to tempt, so we should try to fight that. Thank you. And continuous means <coughs> without interruption. <laughs>